For the second part of this research, I wanted to delve on the other side, on a side that knows too well. In other words, Colombian cinema. So how does this introspective voice sound like? How do the locals speak about themselves? And moreover, does it benefit Colombia's foreign reputation? The Colombian film industry started off well within the global context. Experimentation began during the late 1800s, the first documentary in 1915 and the first feature in 1922. However, the arrival of sound in 1927 meant a big setback for the industry, as there weren't enough resources to compete with Hollywood's innovations, which took over the theaters. It took Colombians 10 full years to reach the same technology, and slowly but surely, the Colombian industry consolidated throughout the 40s and 50s with film promotion and new laws that benefited the field. The subsequent decades were somewhat stagnant until the late 70s, which gave birth to auteurs, as was Luis Ospina, along with over 30 features up until the early 90s. Yet it was not until 2003, when the film law was approved, that our own form of golden age came about. A small, budget-constrained industry has gotten more and more attention from the audience and the government, thus paving the way for new developments. The previously mentioned conflict has had a great impact in the lack of resources and opportunities, but it has also served as a source of inspiration as a way of honoring the victims and a way of paying respect to a difficult past.